One interesting way that we can use a slope is to look at the slope intercept form of a line. And that looks like this. Y equals, remember M is our slope, X plus B. And B here is a Y intercept. Now remember, the Y axis is this guy, also known as the rise and the x-axis is the run. So let's look at an example to illustrate how this works. So let's say y equals three, x plus two. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at that y-intercept. Remember that's b, in this case it's two. So the y-intercept is going to be on the y-axis, and we're just going to go up two. So one, two. And right there is that point, and that's the y-intercept. Let's label that. That's one, oops, that's zero, <laughs> two. The y-intercept will always have, it'll always start with a zero because the x-coordinate is always zero because it's on the y-axis, okay? And then, so now we'll use the slope. That three there, what does that mean? Well, remember, the slope is the rise over the run. So that tells us that it goes, it rises up three units for every one unit that it runs. So starting from our intercept, let's go to the right one, and then let's go up three. One, two, three. And let's plot that point. So we're gonna go to the right one from our point, and then we'll go up three. So there it is. And that'll be, that coordinate is one, one, two, three, four, five, one, five. So that's how we use the slope intercept form to plot a line. Pretty cool, and we can even check right one, up three. All right, follow for more.